How can HPE GreenLake help healthcare companies with their IT strategies as they look to manage scale and speed of deployment of their infrastructure whilst maintaining information security? I'm Guy Daniels and joining me now from the US is Steve Shim, Executive Healthcare Strategist with Hewlett Packard Enterprise. Steve, very good to meet you. Good to meet you, Guy. Glad to be here. Now, our pleasure. Now, Steve, you spent a great deal of your career as VP and CTO of major hospital systems before moving to HPE. What are some of the unique challenges that healthcare companies face that impact health IT strategy? Well, Guy, thank you for the uh, question. I will say that having built a career around healthcare has been incredibly rewarding and satisfying for me. Um, however, the challenge of healthcare has been growing steadily over the years. Many say that the path of the healthcare industry in the US is unsustainable. And let me just touch on why that's the case. You know, as, as a, a nation, our healthcare outcomes lag behind other nations in most categories. And yet we still have the highest expenditure per capita. Over 29 million Americans in 2019 were uninsured according to the US census. And lastly, you know, approximately 80% of Americans are dissatisfied with the cost of our healthcare, according to uh, Gallup surveys. You know, moving forward, our government would like commercial healthcare providers to take on the financial risk of delivering high quality healthcare services. And ultimately, this is where health IT plays a role in hospital systems successfully supporting these at-risk new business models moving forward. So how does IT keep up with the growing demands that we're seeing, such as EHR, 3D imaging, genetics testing, AI, etc.? There's a lot of them. I, I imagine that significantly impacts the infrastructure you need to manage scale and speed. Guy, you're exactly right. And this is an ongoing challenge for health systems and health IT teams. Uh, the issue really is that uh, the healthcare industry can absolutely take advantage of emerging technologies. Uh, and this includes areas such as a more integrated and intelligent electronic health record or EHR, tele telemedicine solutions that uh, move or, are moving out to the edge, higher resolution clinical imaging, and certainly now machine learning and artificial intelligence technologies to really mine all the information that we have now gathered you know, over the last number of years. The healthcare industry has done a yeoman's job in keeping up with technology demands up until this point using legacy methodologies. But HIT needs to evolve and it takes on to take on the emerging healthcare challenges. So can you share some insights, Steve, as to how you handled this in your previous role? Guy, so during my time as chief technology officer with Greenville Health System, a growing academically affiliated health system in South Carolina. We leveraged a GreenLake on-premises hybrid cloud solution to support our most critical workload. And that was our Epic electronic health record. Uh, what promoted this was a, well, a defining moment that made us reassess how we were supporting and delivering our IT services. Ultimately, my engineering staff came to me and said, Steve, we understand the mission and the objectives, but our current mode of operations will not allow us to achieve that. And so we stepped back and really assessed and how we were um, operating internally. And we chose to innovate. And ultimately we looked at service providers, you know, tier one service providers across multiple industries and took a page out of their playbook. And ultimately we leveraged uh, services as well as a vertically integrated technologies and, and selected HPE GreenLake as our uh, solution to, to move forward. And you know, ultimately we had just a tremendous amount of success in doing, in doing that. As you say, HPE GreenLake was a big part of your IT strategy. So what benefits did you realize once you implemented HPE GreenLake? Guy, I love talking about the benefits we uh, achieved as they were just remarkable. To this day, our electronic health record has experienced 100% uptime 
with no unplanned outages over multiple years. The hybrid cloud solution we uh, put together was comprised of high confidence level, vertically integrated technology and services. Um, this included a support team that was not only ITIL certified, but ISO certified. And this is uh, to best ensure a HIPAA compliance framework. Uh, and we all know how important that is uh, to the healthcare environment today. We supported 40% increase in capacity over several years, which was all facilitated with simple self-service features of our Green Lake Hybrid Cloud. We absolutely preserved cash and reduced our total cost of ownership, which is now a high priority across most enterprises due to the pandemic. With the ability to focus more on our stakeholders, we advanced our electronic medical record adoption level to HEMS Analytics Stage 7. And in addition, we supported uh, Epic Electronic Health Record as a service to partner hospital systems. All this was in support of our um, GHS to enable population health offerings and to, again, pursue different healthcare models uh, successfully. Our challenge was to change the culture and we were able to do so successfully. All that was pre-pandemic though, which is now another driver for hybrid cloud. Indeed it is. And let's talk about that now because we see on the news immense pressure on the healthcare system due to the pandemic. Can you talk about how this has impacted health IT in general? Guy, this is a great question, and I get this often from those not in the healthcare industry. Uh, and the answer, you know, is just not intuitive. We would have anticipated that healthcare providers whose services are in critical need during a pandemic would, would not struggle at, at a time like this to, uh, to maintain solvency and to keep the doors open. This was related in large part to the suspension of, you know, as we know now, elective surgeries, procedures, and even today, most are far from returning to, to normal volumes. Consequently, you know, health information technology has, has new priorities in terms of uh, achieving total cost of ownership and cash preservation. We hear this loud and clear from roundtables and webinars that we conduct with professional organizations like HEMS, Chime, Becker's Healthcare, and others. Ultimately, Health IT is looking at all options to achieve these new objectives. Often, we need a defining moment to promote innovation. And for many, the pandemic is just that. And recently, consultants, auditors, and news media companies are all reporting a major shift to hybrid cloud services. It's very interesting times. This is not only optimizes cash flow, but it also improves how IT is supported and delivered. So organizations like KPMG and PricewaterhouseCoopers are both reporting um, the interest level and spending up 37% you know, across the board since the pandemic started. Now, furthermore, HPE just recently reported third quarter earnings. And what we are showing is 80% growth in our GreenLake hybrid cloud service line. This is notably um, exceeds any public cloud provider during the same time period. So it's very interesting times. Indeed. Um, and, and looking forward, what do you see as the, the next major challenge that other healthcare CTOs will face in the next three years? Yeah, well, there's no shortages, shortages of challenges, Guy. You know, with the reason we love this business is because it is constantly changing. And if nothing else, health IT is accelerating its pace. The demand for different types of IT services is growing substantially. So what we categorize this at HPE is you know, at the edge, on-prem, and really in the cloud. Uh, and so when we talk about the edge, we're talking about clinical modalities, CTs, MRIs, telehealth, and certainly you know, a plethora of IoT devices. On-prem, we know that you know, critical applications that have unique requirements to be on site will always run there. These are things that have compliance requirements, data gravity issues, and certainly legacy architectures. And lastly, the cloud. And then when we talk about public cloud, these are applications that can run anywhere successfully. So, you know, challenge for uh, is that uh, these different solution sets are really driving vastly different requirements, uh, especially in terms of uh, required skill sets, 
uh, the utilities needed to manage and monitor and provision services, funding, funding cycles, funding uh, uh, sources, and lastly, visibility and governance over really what is now a, a much more pervasive IT uh, strategy. Ultimately, CTOs must find a way to take on these technology and support challenges successfully. Legacy strategies that have been productive uh, for us in the past just will not work going forward. In your current role as a healthcare strategist at HPE, how would you advise the healthcare CTOs to prepare? Guy, so the fact is my advice has evolved over the uh, last year, having been part of HPE, a $30 billion plus technology company and seeing the potential of what can be accomplished in healthcare. HIT must successfully take on the challenge of being a tier one service provider of many more services that are being supported today and to normalize operations across a continuum. So hence, I have the following advice for hospital systems and CTOs. First, establish a unified cloud architecture that spans on-prem to the edge and to the public cloud to support both native cloud applications as well as legacy workloads. Again, the key is to normalize operations. Secondly, leverage a cloud experience and support increased efficiencies, agility, and economic value, especially in terms of cash flow and total cost of ownership. Next, have a productive and efficient way to control and manage a unified hybrid cloud estate. This is the Achilles heel of many hybrid cloud strategies. So it is critical to focus on this. Lastly, prepare uh, to support future application workloads designed to run in a unified cloud on containers. After only really after I joined uh, HPE, did I become much more aware of container-based workloads. And this is now really only really getting started in the healthcare industry. Containers are especially relevant uh, when you are supporting big data analytics, machine learning, artificial intelligence, and other really sophisticated workloads. You know, so Guy, lastly, I see now is an opportunity for HIT teams to innovate with their full support of their hospital systems. Not only is this appropriate, but it's expected in many cases, and I advise health systems to take full advantage of that. Steve, thanks very much for joining us and sharing your insights today. Thank you, guys. It's a pleasure being here with you today.